Hi everyone, welcome back to another Championship Chiropractic with Dr. Donald Ozello. Man, how many of us spend so much time in our car? You get uncomfortable, you get out, your neck hurts, your back hurts. There's got to be a better way. Dr. Ozello is here to talk to us about the ergonomics of driving. How well can your environment support your health? Dr. Ozello, thanks for being here. Let's let's talk about general guidelines for ergonomics just while you're driving. Oh, definitely, definitely. You have to think about it. when we're in a car, many times we overlook the position that we're in until it's too late, until we get out and go, oh man, my back is tight. I've only been driving for 20 minutes. So we want to make sure that everything is positioned as well as it possibly can. One of the main things is the positioning of the seat. If you can have the seat set up so your hips and your knees are level, that is ideal. Many times when we're in the car, the hips are lower than the knees, and that puts the spine in an awkward position. So if you think about that, you line yourself up and you get the hips and the knees level, and then the back should be reclined about to a little bit more than 90 degrees. So it's about 100 to 110 degrees. So it's slightly reclined, and then the back of the headrest should be touching, I mean, the front of the headrest should be touching the middle of the back of the head. So therefore, the body is in a good position while we're driving. Nice. So that general position should be the best, the most ergonomic uh, for our bodies while we're driving. How about yes. our hands? Where, where should our hands be? Well, your hands obviously should be on the steering wheel, but we want to make <laughs> sure that you don't have the shoulder shrug when you're driving. So you want to have the steering wheel at the appropriate height. Okay. So you don't want to have it too high. And you don't want to be holding the steering wheel up at 2 and 10 like we were all taught to do because that causes us to raise the shoulders. So ideally, you put it at 3 and 9 and hold the steering wheel in that position. And that should help to lessen the tension on the neck muscles. And also, you don't want to grip the steering wheel with a death grip. Many people do that. They're driving and they're squeezing it, especially when we're stuck in traffic or we're stressed out. You start squeezing that steering wheel and everything just tightens up, especially if you're holding too high. People are driving like this. By the time they get to their destination, everything is tight and locked up. So we want to make sure that the steering wheel is at the appropriate height, that you're holding the steering wheel at three and nine, and that you just have a moderate grip on the steering wheel that you're not squeezing that steering wheel. That's great. Setting up your seat so the head, the back are supported. The hips are nice and even with the legs. And then putting your hands on the steering wheel, you know if you're in the right position. Exactly. So that's all for driving, but how long really should you be driving and should you be taking a break while you're going on long road trips? Good. That's an excellent question. One thing I want to do back up is I forgot to say this before. If you have lumbar support in your vehicle, use it, okay? Because those muscles will start to fatigue if you do not use your lumbar support. But to answer your question, I always recommend to people, take a break once an hour. If you're on a long drive, take a break, get out, walk around, break that static position. Our bodies are designed to be in motion. They are not designed for long periods of sitting. Even if your ergonomics is set up perfectly, okay, the body is still going to tighten up if we're not moving. So you want to get up once an hour, even if it's just walking around for five minutes, all right? And you always want to drink plenty of water. So once an hour, get up, take a break, you know, pull over to the rest area or wherever you're at, use the restroom and then get back to your drive. But that one hour is usually a good amount of time for most people. And the break doesn't have to be long. All it has to be is just a few minutes. Uh, that is great. So many of us spend so much time in our car commuting back and forth oh, from yes. work. Yes. So next time you get in your car, check that seat position, check that headrest. Don't hold on to the steering wheel too tight. Thanks, Dr. Ozello. You're welcome, James, and thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for watching today's video on spine health. If you have questions, feedback, or suggestions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Please feel free to like this video, and please subscribe to my YouTube page, Dr. Donald A. Ozello, D.
C. You can also visit my website, championshipchiropractic.com, where you can see my blog, which contains articles on sports medicine, chiropractic, health, fitness, and nutrition. Thanks again for watching today's video.